Hello everyone, welcome to DevK Learner, a bit forward daily. I'm Devakar. So today I'm going to take you through the next session on beginner's guide to mQuery, simple start with basic. Today is 8th June, so I'm taking I'm taking it through to the OData today. So we'll be covering on what is OData, why is OData useful, how is OData represented in or how is data represented in OData? So we have covered the few other things, but yeah, let's come to it. This where we are talking about what is OData? OData Open Data Protocol is a standardized REST-based protocol which allows you to query and retrieve data over the internet using simple URLs. You can connect to OData feed using tools like Power BI, Excel, and many modern web application. But OData isn't just about data, it is also about how the data is formatted. OData supports two main formats, one is Atom, the other one is JSON. So Atom is XML based, which is used in, used in older version of OData like V3 and V2. It's more verbose, structured in XML, slower and heavier for tools like Power BI. The other one is JSON one, which is comparatively new. It's lightweight, human readable, modern. Its default is OData v4. It's faster, easier for Power BI to load and progress. So if you're working in Power BI, JSON is the better format and OData for v4 feeds are what you should look for. Then the next thing is why does Power BI prefer JSON, right? Why? Because it's it loads faster, it's simpler, it's smaller in size, it's easier to transform into Power Query and align with modern APIs and web standards. And that is the reason we should be using JSON-based OData feeds with Power BI. Now I'm I'm introducing and I'm giving you like three different uh, OData feeds which are free and it can help you in learning or in performing or creating demos so one of them is northwind which is sample with tv with order and customer then Pripen, which is travel agency simulation o data or demo which is journal sample data set so i've written the type of them as well so northwind and odata.org are atom in format and the Pin is JSON. I can show you. I'll click on the Northwind. So, if you see, this is the Northwind and it is the format of XML. So, it is an atom. This one is uh, your trip pin, trip pin services, and you will see that the data is in the format of uh, JSON. Then, the third one is where we are talking about the odata.src or might be org which is in based on the atom again. So this is what I wanted to show you in this demo. Next, in the next demo, we'll be talking about uh, how we can use the JSON-based OData feed to connect with Power BI. But we'll, we'll be seeing the example of both. And then once the data has been loaded into the, into the Power Query Editor, we can explore schema and understand how OData is structured, like, uh, structured inside the Power BI. If you are new to connecting APIs and web data source, this video is a must, right? With this, I've come to the end of it. If you found this helpful, give it a like and share it with someone learning Power BI. If you are new to the channel, please subscribe to DivK Learner for more practical job ready content on data tools, Power BI and mQuery. I just want to refer to a couple of more things that uh, as mentioned, I'm, you can join our free Q&A session every Sunday between 12.30 to 1.30 IST. Right? And then we have an upcoming webinar which is based on the data modeling in Power BI which is on the 15th June. You can register it. I'll be giving you the links of both in the description of the video. However, if you have any questions, or you can ask and comment or you can join our sunday session after doing the registration so 
that's all that I want to have or that I want to discuss here. Thanks for your time. Have a wonderful day ahead. Bye-bye.